Hello my lovelies, so welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my loves. We have tons of new spell videos coming for you guys. I know we've been a little bit absent on here. Um, I hope that this eclipse season has treated you guys much better than it has to us. Unfortunately, we lost someone that was very important in our family as well as very important to me, my grandmother. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know how much she meant to me. So we needed to process all of that. But we are back and uh, let's get into it. This is going to be the love rating for all zodiac signs. We're going to begin here with Aries because it is Aries season. We are going to look into new love for Aries as well as the old flame. Let's see what's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. If you guys are wanting a personal reading or any of the services that we provide, you can find all of those uh, links on the description box below, okay? All right, let's begin here. Aries, you guys are going through massive changes, massive transformations, right? I'm sure you guys are already feeling it. Let's see what's going on in your love life, Aries. Here we go. Call upon all of my wise and loving spirit guides, ascended master, spirits of divination. Please step forward. Allow me to see here, send to you and receive the messages loud and clearly. We're going to begin here with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Okay, here we go, Aries. Your first card here is the Five of Cups, the Tower card. Wow, the devil card. Let me put them down here. Okay. So in regards to new love, I see that there was almost a letting down or a feeling of being let down in this connection. The tower card does speak to me about certain type of revelations that you guys are currently going through. And here's the thing. In regards to how they see you, they see uh, there something must have recently happened where they felt like, They've lost you or they've lost the opportunity to get closer to you uh, in regards how they feel or, you know, what they're feeling for you. The tower, it really shook them. Um, now, this could be them or this could be you, Aries. It is a general reading, but I feel like there was a feeling of being let down because something massive recently happened. Now, this could be in their life. It could be that they're dealing with certain things that are very transformational with the five of uh, cups here. It could be that they are going through the loss or the mourning of a loved one. Um, and in regards to their future actions with the devil card here, I feel like they're not going to make any type of movement towards you. They're not going to be reaching out. I feel like they are really going through something. Um, now this, again, like I said, if this is uh, someone that you recently connected with, and all of a sudden you haven't heard from them, just know that it has a lot to do with uh, their life is really being shook right now. Um, there is a lot of pain or emotions. You guys do keep in mind that we do have the solar eclipse that happened in your sign Aries, and also Chiron is there. So Chiron is the wounded healer. So there, it's going to bring up a lot of things about ourselves or about our past that we haven't fully healed. Um, so it could be something that they're currently going through where for some of them, you could have been dealing with someone that had some type of addiction, uh, could be alcoholism or drugs or even sex. Um, and they recently had a revelation. They recently came to the conclusion that that no longer uh, is going to have a hold on them. So I feel more than anything that this connection could be temporarily... Um, temporarily disconnected only because they're being forced to deal with their traumas or to deal with what they have to deal with in order to become a better person or a better partner for you. Um, so again, I feel like this could be you also, Aries. We are in your energy. Um, so it could be something that you're currently going through where you feel like all of a sudden, communication is just not like you guys can't be on the same page. People are misunderstanding you and it's bringing about a lot of triggers for you. Um, but again, what I would advise is for you guys to really put attention 
uh, to what you're almost like kind of being forced to deal with right now because this is going to be for the betterment of you, Aries. And if you do have a habit of dealing with people that half ass certain connections, it's like it's a rude awakening, but you have to realize that and take it for what it is at this point. If you're seeing red flags, if you're seeing things that you're just not willing to deal with anymore, walk away from that Aries. Because again, it is about altering your life right now. And in order to alter your life or in order to get you to the best version of yourself, you have to be able to make those decisions. And those decisions sometimes are not easy, but if you feel like this person that you were dealing with is kind of dragging you down or bringing you down or has you in your feels because you don't know where you stand with them, this is a recurring theme. So what they're telling you is pull away from that energy. It's about focusing on yourself so that you can let go and release all of those past traumas so that you don't keep attracting the same type of energy, okay? Now, when we're talking about the ex-flame or your ex-partner, we have the chariot card here, the six of cups and the three of cups. So this is indicative to me of they're really wanting to come towards you. They're really wanting to, to contact you. For some of you guys, they've already contacted you. We do have Mercury in retrograde. Um, but in regards to why they feel this way or why they reached out is because they're trying to experience you with other people. So what I mean by that is they're trying to find you and other people and they're realizing that Aries is Aries, never going to be substituted. You can never find you and someone else. So it's almost like they're coming back around because they are obviously reminiscing about the past and missing you. But more than anything, the reason why they're coming back around here with the three of cups in regards to their future actions towards you, I do see communication. I do see them reaching out. Um, however, I would not encourage you, unless you guys have been waiting for that excess tax or whatnot, I would tell you to walk or tread very lightly only because I feel like they're not 100% in it. It's more so to have fun or to enjoy each other's company, but I feel like it has more to do with they could be going through certain things in their life as well. And sometimes when we are being challenged or when we are pushed to really, you know, figure out how it is that we're dealing with certain things, we do have a tendency as humans to go back to what feels comfortable for us. So I don't want you to soothe them through this process. So that's the reason why I'm telling you tread lightly. However, I do see communication opening up for you guys, okay? All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for Taurus, New Love. Three cards for Old Flame for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, you guys have major, major shakeups as well that is coming through for you guys April the 20th and the 21st. We have that um, Uranus and uh, Uranus and conjunction that's happening with Jupiter. Um, so, and it's in your sign, Taurus. So for a lot of you guys, luck is going to be on your side. There's going to be a lot of things that are going to be unfolding in your life. And again, Uranus is very unpredictable and it usually brings about surprises that are very unforeseen. Like you can predict it that. <laughs> so definitely exciting time for you Taurus out there. All right, let's see what's going on with new love. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Taurus. We have the King of Swords, we have the Five of Wands, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. So in regards to how this new person is seeing you at this point in time, they see you as a person that is a bit defensive or a bit difficult to kind of feel you out. I feel like you're becoming a challenge for them, and it's not to say that it's a negative thing because I feel like you're definitely spiking their interest. And the fact that the five of wands is here in the new love connection does indicate it's almost like you're kind of putting the pressure on them to like step up. 
So I feel like for some of you guys, you could be dealing, uh, this new person could be more on your not maturity level. They could be a little bit more immature than you, but I feel like you're pushing them for the better because they are almost being challenged and understanding that good things don't come easy type of thing. Whereas in the past, they're very comfortable or very used to dealing with people that probably doted on them or probably chase them. And I see you guys being more of a challenge here. However, they are seeing potential in you for something more long term because of this. So whatever it is that you're doing, Taurus, continue to do that. Even if you feel like you guys are not communicating that great right now, I would definitely tell you be receptive, meaning allow them to be the one to chase you or the one to reach out or the one to actually put effort. Because I feel like the more you do that, the more they're kind of being pushed to step up to their higher version and you're going to get a much better version of them. OK, and I mean that in the sense of a better partner than they have to their previous partners. Um, because they are starting to to see a shift here where there's a feeling of understanding that you are a little bit more difficult to predict um, or perhaps a little bit more difficult because maybe you, you know, demand certain things from people that are interested in you. And it's like they're if they really want it, they're going to step up. And I do see them stepping up because they're seeing the value in you, Taurus. So again, that's what I'm saying. If you're feeling like communication hasn't been that great, um, really stand your ground right now because I feel like this is really what's going to propel them to see the value in you. Um, whereas in the past, maybe they didn't take the time to do that with other people because they were so accustomed for things to be easy. Do you get me? To not put effort in relationships. So um, yeah, definitely keep doing what you're doing, Taurus. Now, when we're talking about your old flame here in regards to how they feel about you, they're still reminiscing. They're still in their feelings about you. There is still here a desire of knowing that you were you were very beneficial to them in their life. Um, so what I mean by that is you were a solid, you know, solid rock that they can rely on, that they can um, that they can really count on. And when we're talking about why they feel this way with the Ace of Wands, they seen you as, or they're seeing you now as a person that you've done more than they thought you were capable of. So whether it's there was a glow up with you or whether it's like you're doing much better in your career and your profession, stuff like that, it's making them realize like, damn, I really let Taurus get away. Not only that, but they're like over here having this glow up or like doing great or traveling even. And they're kind of being forced to admit that they were what was keeping you down. And that's not sitting well with them. And again, you guys, we do have Chiron in Aries. So a lot of people are going to be in their feelings and we're kind of being forced to heal certain traumas and, and shit that we've been carrying for many years. It could be something like that where they're being forced to acknowledge that their behavior has a lot to do with their past traumas or from past relationships where with you they drop the ball. But I don't see any movement in regards to communication. All right. Gemini, let's see what's going on with you guys. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Like, share, and comment. All right, Gemini, let's see what's going on with you. Now, in regards to new love, you have the Ten of Swords, Knight of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. Whoa. Okay, so for some of you guys, there was a falling out. Uh, or maybe there wasn't or hasn't been any communication. There is an ending cycle here that happened. So if you guys were really excited about this connection or this new person that you were dealing and out of nowhere, they stopped communica communicating, they stopped reaching out to you. Um, don't take it as a negative. See it as like they did you a favor because this person had moved on from the past. And I feel like they're still dealing with the past or the past could have recently came back around. It's kind of like trying to resuscitate a dead horse. You know what I mean? Like it's not going to work out, but they did you a solid by walking away or being entertaining to someone else because you don't want that energy. A person that is not sure about you, you don't want to waste your time there. So 
again, I feel like they did you a favor here. Um, in regards to how they feel about you with the Nine of Swords, it's it's a matter of like days or it's a matter of weeks that they will reach out. Why? Because they realized that that was a dead end. You know what I mean? Um, and future actions with the Queen of Wands, again, I do see them reaching out and it's based off of impulse. And it's because they're realizing that whatever they were entertaining had no life in it no more. You, you know, like it, it was a dead end. Um, so again, they did you a solid. Don't r ruminate in that energy. I know that sometimes we could get emotionally invested, but what they're telling you right now is they did you a solid Gemini. Why? Because you're worthy of more and better is coming for you. So you, you want to get rid of all that toxicity or, or people that are just, you know, carrying around a lot of baggage um, because it will affect as you continue to progress in the relationship it becomes more difficult to walk away from that. So again, see it as a blessing, a hidden blessing. Now, when we're talking about your old flame, we have the six of wands here, the seven of swords and the sun card. So you could be dealing with someone that, or could have been dealing with an ex-partner that is making themselves to, they're putting it out there um, that they're really happy that they're living their best life, that maybe they are even in a steady or, stable relationship but this is a facade this is more of this is having to do more with ego and pride because they felt like maybe they were thinking you were coming back around maybe they were thinking you know gemini will beg me at some point um and that wasn't the case so with the six of wands this is ego this is pride let me pretend based on ego that my life is amazing and lie to myself and pretend or put it on display that everything is going well. So if you felt like your ex-partner or person that you ended a relationship with, if you feel that they've been like very proactive on social media and you're like, oh my God, they're really like, you know, moving on, like they're moving on very quick. Yeah, they are. And the reason for it is because they are deceiving themselves. They're lying to themselves, trying to portray something that's not really happening. Um, and it has more to do with putting things on display because of ego. So again, I don't, I do see, I want to say more so in the month of May, I see them trying to reach out to you. Um, I don't see that happening right now, but I do see it happening sometime in the month of May. However, again, it's like I said, if they want to sit in their ego and sit in their pride and make you uh, be the one to feel like you have to reach out, like you have to, like, don't even bother with that type of energy because this is a person that is not taking no self-responsibility. It's a person that is running off of ego. And when ego is involved, when we're talking about love and romance, it's definitely going to crash and burn at some point because what is love if not the quite opposite of pride and ego, right? It's selflessness. It's the opposite of that. So again, um, just move on from that, Gemini. All right, let's see what's going on with Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Cancers out there. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go, Cancer. All right, your first card here is the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Cups, <coughs> and the Four of Cups. Okay, very interesting. So what I'm seeing is in regards to your new love, with the Wheel of Fortune, destiny right now is taking a hold of this situation, okay? So for those of you guys that are single, uh, like single, single, and you're not dealing with anyone, that's not going to be for too long. I do see a wish fulfillment happening here when we're talking about love and romance. I do see a connection coming in. Now, for those of you guys that are dealing with someone, um, in regards to how they see you, they see you as the end all be all, right? They're seeing you as definitely the person that they want in their life. Um, how they feel about you, Nine of Cups, there is emotion, there is, there is love there. However, with their future actions, the Four of Cups, I feel like right now they're in their feelings, Cancer. So if you've seen them a bit spaced out or if you've seen them a bit disconnected or perhaps you guys have had a lot of miscommunication lately, 
Again, keep in mind, Mercury is in retrograde. We have a lot of things going on astrologically wise um, with hard aspects that it's becoming very challenging right now, but it's almost like we're being forced to acknowledge what's working and what's not. And how can we better fix it or how can we work through it? With the Four of Cups in regards to their future actions, I feel like they're going to play it off the way they've been playing it off up until now. So I, I would highly encourage you to be a little bit more proactive, Cancer. As an example, if they're not texting, they're not calling, um, if you haven't been the one to do that, maybe it's time for you to put your pride aside and start doing that because I see them really wanting you to put in effort. It's like, I want to know if Cancer's feeling the same way I'm feeling. Like, are they willing to fight for it? Are they willing to put in the work? So again, and maybe you've been emotional, Cancer. You guys have been going through a lot of changes as well. So again, what they're telling you here is there, there's not going to be much momentum on them taking future actions towards you. However, because I do see here the Wheel of Fortune with the Nine of Cups, I would encourage you, if you feel that this connection is strong and worth it enough, to actually put in effort and like not sit in pride or not sit in like stubbornness, be a little bit more flexible. Um, if they see that little effort, I do see them actually coming back around and putting more effort towards the connection. Okay. All right. Cancer. Let's see into your old flame here. We have the eight of swords, the page of pentacles and the ace of wands. So I definitely do see communication opening up. Um, in regards to how they feel about you, they haven't been able to move on from you, Cancer. They're still holding on to the idea, right? Or the hope that you guys can revisit this connection or that you may actually take them back. With the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, I, excuse me, I do see them reaching out to you. I do see them communicating with you. Um, and with the Page of Pentacles, in regards to why they feel this way, because they've realized that you were worth it, right? You've been worth it. And they've realized that. And it's like, I can't move on from, you know, from cancer anymore. Um, I have to take effort or I have to put effort or, or make something happen in order for me to contact or basically come back into your life because they feel like you're, you're kind of, you slip through their hands or they drop the ball in this situation. So I do see them coming back around. However, the ball is in your court, basically, Cancer, because, you know, if it's something that you've been hoping to hear or been waiting for them to reach out, it's finally coming through for you. For those of you guys that want nothing to do with your ex, they haven't moved on. You will hear from them. Why? Because they just can't get over you. It's that simple. All right, my loves. Moving on here. Let's go to Leo. Let's see what's going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. If you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like. All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Leo. All right, here we go, Leo. In regards to new love, <clears throat> we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the nine of cups and sorry, the eight of cups and the the five of pentacles. OK, so what I'm hearing is there was a, a connection that you felt like things were going progressively well and things were moving very like forward in a very positive way. But something recently has transpired where you feel like they are not present now, this could be that there's distancing involved. And for others of you, it could just represent that they are emotionally detached from the situation. Um, now, in regards to how they feel about you, again, with the eight of cups here, I feel like they've moved on. And it's almost like this feeling of kind of like being forced to move on. Again, you guys, here's the thing, right? When we are experiencing a lot of massive astrological events, um, what happens is that everyone's subconscious is triggered in a different way, in a different way, especially when we're talking about eclipses, right? But eclipses, what are they? They are celestial events that happen that propel us towards our future. So if we've been going about it when it comes to dating, if we've been going about it the wrong way, it's kind of like we're being forced to see things for what they really are. And I see this person that you were dealing with was probably dealing with a lot of insecurities or was dealing with a lot like they really needed 
a lot of reassurance in this connection. Even if you just recently started dealing with someone and it just felt like they constantly were trying to like fish for compliments or or things like that. It, it's almost like this person has this massive need for reassurance, right? For feeling like we are going on the same page every five minutes. They wanted to check up on that. <laughs> um, but again, this is because of insecurity issues that stem from the past or from past experiences. So I feel like this person is being forced to deal with certain things that they've been going about it when it comes to relationships in, in a negative way for them. Um, so it could be almost like, like I said, having a tenant or maybe this person has a fear of abandonment and they felt that this connection started to basically become more like detached or maybe not as intense. So they walked away before you walked away. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's, it's kind of a situation of before I'm left, I will be the one that's doing the leaving, uh, type of thing. And it's because again, those fears are being triggered. So if you notice like the past couple of, you know, couple of weeks, maybe the past month or so, you were busy or you were like really in your profession and your career or you just had a lot of things going on and it was almost seeming like you guys can really communicate or be on the same page or maybe they were doing the same thing. Along that transition, there was a, a, a trigger for them from their past, right? So it's like, oh, okay, I see that, you know, Leo's being busy, et cetera, et cetera. Well, that's how it started in the past in my previous relationship. So before you could emotionally detach from them, they decided to emotionally detach out of self-preservation or out of self-protection or defense mechanism. So again, when we're talking about this new love or this new connection, I feel that they're going about it the wrong way, but it's kind of like they're being forced to deal with those, with those, you know, with that issue, with that energy. Um, my advice is, you know, I'm going to be very straightforward with you in this situation, Leo. If this is something recent, like, I'm sorry, but you're not nobody's mother or you're not nobody's father. Don't sit there and baby them through it. Like, let them deal with that. You know, let them heal what they have to heal when they're fully healed if you're still single, then, you know, make it happen. But if not, like, don't sit there and weather the storm with someone that you are not even certain they would be willing to do the same thing for you if you were going through that. Do you get what I'm saying? Especially if it's a person that the moment that they feel disconnected or the moment they feel the relationship is being challenged, they're just going to get up and go. Like, you don't want to deal with that type of energy. So... Take it for what it is, Leo. Now, when we're talking about ex-partner or ex-flame, we have the Tower, the Knight of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. Okay, so when we're talking about this person from your past or this ex, um, there is something that massively transformed their life where they could be going through massive transformations right now where they are realizing it's dawning on them or they are being enlightened to understand that you were what was going well for them. With the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Wands, I do see communication happening and I do see them reaching out. And the reason for it is because life has been hard on them. <laughs> life has been hard and they feel like maybe this is what they needed to come to the realization like Leo is it. There's no better than Leo. It doesn't get any better than that. And it's almost like they're doing a lot of internalizing that in, in, in themselves that it's kind of catching or catching up to what they've, where they dropped the ball. Whereas in the past, maybe they weren't really taking any type of self-responsibility, maybe blaming it on you, why it didn't work out. I see them internalizing that and being like, damn, like, it's an almost an aha moment where they wake up and out of nowhere, they realize they still have feelings for you and you're worth being fought for. So I see them coming back around and really going hard into trying to come back into your life or trying to make it up to you, Leo. All right, my loves, moving on. A lot of X energy here for sure, right? <laughs> so, all these changes that are happening. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 
Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Virgos. All right, in regards to new love, you have the full card. Ooh, Virgo. You are definitely going in through a massive transformation. What I'm hearing is as soon as I pulled out the full and the justice, it's almost like in the past, maybe you felt like you were always ending relationships or ending situationships where you felt like you were the one that was deceived or you were the one that was left empty handed. And when I pulled out the fool and the justice, what I heard is finally you're being vindicated or finally you're being blessed and good karma is coming your way when it comes to love and romance. You're finally dealing with someone that is exactly what it, what it is that you need in your life when it comes to partnerships. With the Fool and the Justice card, there's a new cycle that is beginning for a lot of you. The Justice card could represent Libra or the past Libra eclipse that we had before this Aries one, right? With the Fool. So what they're saying here is there is almost like an ending cycle that you recently gone through, whether you're aware of it or not. And you're going into a new beginning, into a new era where maybe in love and romance it hasn't been that great for you but it's almost like the balancing of scales it's almost the universe bringing balance to your love life and it's bringing to you wish fulfillment for some of you guys you could be dealing or probably will be dealing um with a libra uh or with another air sign uh gemini aquarius libra um for others of you, you could be dealing with an aries you could be dealing with um Piscean energy too, I'm sensing here. And for others of you, it could be a uh, water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But what they're showing me here is, again, understand that you are deserving of, like, you don't ask for too much, Virgo. You got to remember that or remind yourself of that, okay? Even if people make you feel like, you know, when it comes to love, like you're really picky or... They make you feel like you ask for too much. If anyone you're dealing with ever makes you feel like you're asking for too much, it doesn't mean that you're asking for too much. It means that they cannot provide what you're asking for. So again, I feel like there is a balancing of scales here where you're going into this new cycle where you're going to experience a lot of happiness, a lot of love more than anything. And it's almost like everything you've poured into other relationships is finally coming through and being reciprocated with the person that is right for you, Libra. If you are dealing with someone, because this is giving me very new energy, but for those of you guys that are dealing with someone, if you recently have been dealing with someone for over a month or a little bit less than a month, this person is predestined to come into your life. So the advice is stay open and fully embrace being treated well, <laughs> fully embrace being loved on, fully embrace like the attention that you're getting, Virgo, because I feel like this is just the beginning for you guys. So beautiful, beautiful energy here, Virgo. All right. When we're talking about past lover, we have the nine of swords, the hanged man and the empress card. This person is still in their head about this connection and what went wrong. Um, why do they feel this way? They feel like they fucked up because they waited too long. Uh, in regards to the future actions, I don't see them taking future actions. I don't see them trying to reach out to you, Virgo. However, I do see them like really, I'm telling you guys, you guys are going through massive transformations where other people are going to be seeing you really glow or really shine. And if in the past you had like desires or wants to get married or to have kids, I feel like this person is going to get to see that, but not with you. Like you're going to be living that life or what you wanted or what you were seeking for, you're going to find. And they're going to be like an outsider looking in, seeing like all your dreams happen um, where they, again, I'm hearing where they thought or would say you were asking for too much. It's like, no, you were just the wrong person because the one that's right came along and is providing and giving that to me. Do you get what I'm saying? So again, I don't see them reaching out, but I do see that there is almost like a realization they've waited too long or they thought that you would always be something certain and maybe take them back. 
And this time around, it's like, you know, your worth and you're not going to entertain that anymore because you've outgrown that energy. So good for you, Virgo. Good for freaking you. All right. Let's see what's going on with Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. If you guys like these videos, like and share. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Here we go, Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Oh, one more shuffle. Okay, here we go. Libra. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, Libra, we go back to the conversation that I had. Uh, I think it was with Cancer. Whatever is coming out of your life, let that shit go. Don't hold on to it. Don't like right now what the universe is telling you is hold your ground and know your worth. OK, very crucial. Why we just experienced uh, the lunar eclipse that happened in March in your sign. So right now it's everything to do with self-worth and everything to do with what you believe you're worthy of. And that's exactly what the universe is going to echo back to you. I see you were dealing with someone that maybe was hot and cold. Maybe you're not hearing from them anymore and there's a feeling of rejection there. And it's okay to feel that way, Libra. But it doesn't mean that they're the one for you. It just means it's okay for us to feel sometimes rejected. But if you think about it on the grander scale of things, it, it's not that they're rejecting you. It's that their energy is rejecting your energy. And the reason for that is because you're probably vibrating to a higher energy, higher frequency. So you deserve better. They're making you a solid. They're doing you a favor. Why? Because out of this five of pentacles energy, you go to the wheel of fortune. What does this mean? This means that if you don't sit there and reminisce about the feeling of being rejected or the feeling of they left me or abandonment issues type of thing, and instead you decide to heal that aspect to you and be like, you know what? I am the Libra. I am, you know, amazing. I deserve unconditional love because you are the freaking sign that is ruled by love, right? It's about finding the balance, knowing how to give as much love as you receive. And if they can't do that for you, they're doing you the favor because this is a low vibration and you don't want to deal with that. The moment you can heal that fear that you have when it comes to abandonment issues and the realization of your self-worth, that's when everything's going to change for you, baby. And I assure you, that you guys are going through a massive transformation. So a lot of you Libras could be dealing with situations that make you feel or make you question your worth or am I being rejected? Am I being, um, you know, not well received? Am I being mistreated? That type of energy. But the reason for it is, again, we have Chiron and Aries. We're being forced to deal with traumas so that we can heal and that no longer, like no longer be a slave to that emotion, Okay. Moving forward, anyone that makes you feel less than, you're like, fuck this shit, I'm out. I'm not dealing with that shit. Why? Because you know your worthiness, okay? So again, I feel like this new connection was just not it for you, girl or boy. <laughs> it's just not for you, but it's okay. And I really want you to focus primarily, and I'm, they're emphasizing primarily focus on what makes you feel good, on what makes you look good. And on what motivates you, uh, really put your energy in yourself and you will see that people start to line up, that people start to want to get to know you, that people are going to like, even if they, if you have a tendency of attracting very low vibration people, like people that don't take you out on dates, people that don't want to put effort and it's usually you the one that's putting the effort, start saying no to that type of energy. And only the ones that go out of their way to actually show you through actions that they are really trying to get to know you, those are the ones you want to put effort and energy to. Those are the ones you want to entertain, Libra, because I assure you it's going to completely change not only your life, but when we're talking about love and romance, it's really going to take you to the next level of stabilizing something much more committed. Now, when we're talking about your ex Flame or old flame, we have here the eight of cups, the queen of cups and the three of swords. So when we're talking about how they feel about you, you know, with the eight of cups, they've moved on from this situation. They're probably dealing with someone new, Libra. Um, their future actions, three of swords, like they've realized that this is it's came to an end. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you were dealing with the situation where the ex-partner probably walked away from the situation or from the relationship because they were moving on with someone else. Because I do see another energy here. 
uh, and it's definitely not your energy. So again, I feel like this person was maybe double dealing in the past um, and they moved on from the situation. So what they're telling you here is again, if there is a wounded heel or sorry, a heel, a heel, <laughs> a wound that you need to heal in regards to past experiences, I would highly encourage you guys to work on that Libra because that's going to be the trajectory for a lot of you guys for the next coming year and a half. Okay, what do I mean by that? Instead of ignoring our traumas, we actually start working on it. We start to become more aware of the habits or, you know, cycles that we put ourselves in. When you become aware, it completely changes the situation and the scenario. And you start to attract people that are worthy of you. No cheaters, no, you know, fuck boys or fuck girls type of energy. You start to attract higher value men or higher value women. Okay. All right, my loves, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Give me three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide, any readings or spell work or candles anything like that our soap line you guys can find all of that on the shopify link on the description box below all right here we go scorpio all right so your first card here is the seven of swords the ten of swords and the sun okay so if you're dealing with someone new and they're making up tons of excuses like all the excuses under the sun of why they can't make time for you or why they can't put in work to actually take take you out or spend time with you they're deceiving you it's time for you to move on from this situation scorpio with the seven of swords it's giving me very much like fuck boy or fuck girl type of energy and they use the excuse of work or that there a lot is going on in their life here's what i'm hearing i have a lot going on so i can't like i'm just not ready for a relationship i feel like that's a cop-out and that's something that this person that you're dealing with has told you or recently told you walk away from this okay because that's their way of telling you i'm not emotionally available but i'm available for physical connection so i feel like they're trying to put you in a position of like a fuck buddy type of situation get out of that you don't want to deal with that type of energy um in regards to their future actions again i feel like they're painting this pretty picture of like you know really I'm just really busy. I can't give you a lot of time. But when they want to give you time, it's like they're blowing up your phone and it's because it's beneficial for them or it's like the right circumstances for them. So again, don't let them sell you a dream Scorpio. Okay. And I know you can see through bullshit. <laughs> you guys, you know, you guys are great at that. So pay attention because I feel like intuitively you've been picking up on this. But it's like, I don't see any signs or I don't, I haven't caught them like talking to no one else or that type of energy. Like, no, you need to pay attention to your intuition. If you feel like this person is disconnected, it's because they are, they're doing the bare minimum and they're only reaching out when it's beneficial for them. Um, and for some of you guys, you could be dealing with like a fuck buddy situation because they've already put you in that situation. So again, walk away from that. You don't want to end up getting hurt if you are currently going through that type of scenario and you've been going through hurt. Uh, the advice here is know that you deserve better and don't allow someone to put you in a category or force you in a category where you know that you're the goddess or the king that you are. Do not settle for anything less than that, okay? Now, when we're talking about your ex flame here, we have the four of pentacles, the six of cups, and the ace of swords. For some of you guys, you've already dealt with the ex or you, they've reached out. I do see them reaching out. I do see them like they're still wanting to come back into your life, Scorpio. They're still wanting to, you know, basically they're trying to win you back. And I feel like it took them a very long time to realize your worthiness. Now, if you recently, like just recently broke up or something like that, I feel like it, and when I say recently, I mean like the past three weeks, right? There's been like a breakup or something. I do see them reaching out within a month's time frame. Um, that's why I'm saying three weeks time frame. They'll be reaching out sometime this week. However, 
if this is someone that you've been broken up with for a while, like for years, it's going to feel almost like very, like you were not expecting to like ever hear from them and you will. And the reason for this, again, Mercury retrograde, you know, Chiron and Aries, the wounded healer, we're being forced to deal with certain traumas. And I feel like this person is realizing that you were there for them or that you put up with a lot of shit that maybe you shouldn't have. And it's like, yeah, Scorpio is definitely the one that loved me the most. So I see them trying to come back into your life, trying to revisit. Um, don't be surprised if they hit you up with something random, like something you guys used to do. Like, oh, I went out to this restaurant and, you know, it's the restaurant we used to go to, like that type of energy, because I feel like they're trying to wrap up nostalgia to be able to bring you back. Um, but you will definitely be hearing from them, Scorpio. So if you've been wanting that good, if you haven't, it's going to throw you a little bit off because I am being told for some of you guys, it's a person from your past past, like it's been a while. Um, all right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flames. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on with them? Three cards, new love. Three cards, old flame. All right, Saggies. Let's see what's going on. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have Temperance. And we have the Hanged Man. Wow, you have two major arcanas here. So there is definitely a connection that is beginning to build here. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with an Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. For others of you, you could be dealing with a Pisces. But what they're showing me here is that you're currently going through a cycle where for some of you guys, you're still entertaining the past or you're still dealing with the person from your past or it could be like a situationship type of thing. Whereas... You're going to be dealing with another person. That's if you're not already dealing with another person. Because I feel you guys like kind of going back and forth between making a decision but not really wanting to make a decision. Like maybe circumstances are not ideal right now. So I'm going to see how it plays out type of thing. What universe is telling you, uh, Sagittarius, is that you need to make up your mind. And what I mean by that is, you know, if you are dealing with multiple people, the advice here is, Make a pros and cons list if you have to and really go through it. And if the person from your past has more cons than pros, then you need to toss that out and fully embrace the new beginning. But what the universe is telling you right now, Sagittarius, is I need direction, meaning you need to have direction in order for the universe to really fall into bringing to you what it is that you're really trying to experience. Um, so again, and the reason I'm saying this is because with the Ace of Pentacles, the pathway is what's really standing out to me. And it's almost like God is bringing to you an opportunity, a new beginning, a new journey, but you're hesitant about it because I don't know, like I want to make sure that it was worth it in the end with this other person, or I don't know if I want to like, you know, continue sacrificing myself and not seeing the results of what I'm wanting. It's like, you can't have one or the other. You have to decide what it is that you want and what it is that you want is based based off of what you feel you're worthy and what you're deserving of. Because if you feel like you're worthy of nothing but the best, you're not going to settle for the bare minimum or bread breadcrumbs. And if you are someone that is challenged in that aspect and perhaps not sure of your worthiness, then you're going to be willing to jeopardize new beginnings because at least this one is breadcrumbing you, but like you've been with them for a while. So like, you know, you already know the devil basically. Um, so what they're telling you is you need to have direction and you right now, you guys, Sagittarius is really important right now. It's very important to know exactly what it is that you want so that you can experience that because there's massive transformation that's happening. And with these eclipses, we're being forced to deal with certain things that in a way have a lot to do with what keeps us from fully experiencing our fulfillment or our happiness. Okay. All right. Now let's see when it comes to old love or an ex partner, I definitely see them really missing you. Um, they definitely feel like you were the most stable uh, or perhaps the most stable partner that they've ever experienced. 
it's almost like they're realizing that you really love them, that you went above and beyond for them, and they are definitely missing you. Will they be reaching out? I do see them reaching out. Um, and I do see for a lot of you guys, those of you guys that have been waiting to, you know, see if your ex-partner is going to reach out and you've been hoping for this reconnection, I do see you guys having an opportunity to reconnect. Um, and not just reconnect, but I do feel like for a lot of you guys, and we're talking about, you know, higher energy type of vibration, not a person that was toxic to you, that type of shit. We're talking about a partner that perhaps life just took you guys separate ways. Um, I do see them coming back around and fully being willing to invest in reconnecting with you or proving to you that they want you in their lives. Okay. Um, so the ball is in your cart in this situation. Um, even if you are dealing with the low vibration X, they're coming back around. And the reason why is because it's not going to get any better than Sagittarius. But in that scenario of them being, you know, more low vibration, I wouldn't even entertain that. Um, however, if it was a higher, you know, elevated type of energy, I would definitely just advise you, you know, the ball is going to be in your court and it's really up to you. Sh allow them to show you through actions um, and consistency. Okay. All right, my loves. Now let's see what's going on with Capricorns. Cappies. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Cappies out there. Oh, okay. One more shuffle. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards. New love. Three cards. Old flame. Here we go. Capricorn. All right, we have the King of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, Capricorn, if you were dealing with someone and out of nowhere there's no communication or they ghosted you or maybe you blocked them, um, I feel like it has more to do with like ghosting or maybe not being very communicative right now. Um, I feel like this person just realized that maybe they were playing the field, but really not wanting to emotionally invest themselves. And I feel like this person is starting to fall for you and it scared the bejesus out of them. So that's the reason why they pulled away. Okay. Now it can be different scenarios for a lot of you guys, but the ultimate message here is this person has been hurt in the past. They've dealt with a lot. And this is a person that is extremely guarded. It's almost like their detachment is scary. And the reason why they have this detachment is because they created that defense mechanism to protect their heart. However, the moment they started realizing, the moment, and, I, and I'm going to tell you as clear as I got it, <laughs> the moment they realized you were in their head, meaning you were living rent-free in their head, they started panicking. They're like, what the fuck is going on? Like, oh, hell no. This is not it. Like, this is scary. This is just freaking me out. And they started to pull back. If you're dealing with someone that is still communicating with you, but you feel like they're not as proactive in their communication, it's because they're going through this shit right now. The energy is like, oh my God, like, what am I doing? What am I doing? Am I ready? Am I ready? I, I keep hearing, am I ready? And it's almost this feeling of like panic mode. So I feel like they're going to retreat or they have been retreating because they don't want to deal with that. But they're coming out of this realizing Capricorn is fucking worth it and I'm going to do it. I am going to throw my caution to the wind and let it be what it's going to be. I feel like they're going to and it's almost like for a lot of you guys, you're going to experience this like overnight type of switch. Um so for some of you Capricorns, it could be that the reason why you like this person is because they were very detached and Capricorns don't like what's easy, right? You're ruled by Saturn. <laughs> so you have a tendency of being very emotionally invested in people that have a tendency of being a bit detached or maybe not easy um, because it's, it's the chase. It's the thrill of the chase for you. So again, it's, it's about conquering for Capricorn, right? So I feel like this person has kind of kept you at arm's length and maybe that's why you started to get more feelings for them. But I feel like their change is going to be so drastic, Capricorn, where you're going to be like, what the fuck happened? Like they were keeping you at arm's length. 
Um, maybe they even came off as a bit cold, maybe uh, not that emotional. And out of nowhere, when they really are fully ready to embrace the feelings that they have for you, it's going to be like night and day. They're going to be super romantic. They're going to be so caring, so compassionate, uh, so thoughtful. Um, they're going to just give in completely. And I feel the reason why they haven't done that is because they haven't fallen for anyone in a bit. So it's like they've created this fake masquerade of who they are. But deep down, they're like their soft girl era or their soft guy era type of thing, you know? And they're really fully ready or they will be fully ready to embrace the feelings that they have for you. So I feel like for a lot of you Capricorns, you're going to be like thrown off. You're going to be like, what happened? Like, and for a lot of you guys, I see you guys being in your head like, what the hell? Were they dealing with someone from the past and then it didn't work out and now you're trying to come back over here? Like, no, it has nothing to do with the past. It has more to do with them being guarded and being scared the moment they realize that they have more feelings for you than what they actually initially thought. But they do come back around and I do see them fully being able to embrace this connection. All right, now let's look into your ex-partner or old flame here. Wow, Capricorn, what the heck is going on in your love life? Okay, so you have the King of Cups here. In regards to how they feel about you, they definitely still have feelings for you with uh, why do they feel this way, the world card. I feel like for some of you guys, and it's funny because it's almost this message from this new person. I feel like the person that you were dealing with wasn't ready for some type of commitment or longevity or like a more stable type of relationship. However, they're realizing that they're ready, that they've been ready and that they effed up, right? They fucked up by playing mind games or by not giving you the commitment. And now that you're not in their life, there is almost this drastic decision that they made where they're like, you know what? I'm not going to let Capricorn walk out that easy. Like, I'm going to do what I have to do to prove to them. I see them wanting to prove, like eagerly wanting to prove to you that they want you back and that they will do good by you. With the Eight of Wands, it's coming in very quick. So again, for some of you guys, you're already dealing with this energy. For others of you, you will start to see this unfold. But it's like they're not... I'm going to be honest, Capricorn. I feel like a lot of you guys are like really just... Like getting what you always wanted. But for some of you guys, you're going to feel a bit confused because it's almost like multiple people are wanting you or multiple people are willing to like jump in 100% and you're like what the hell where is this coming from uh, especially with this ex energy I feel like this person is willing if if they come back and they reach out to you Capricorn and you entertain them or you're willing to give them another opportunity I would not be surprised if this person like really tries to move it really quick where they want to move in with you or they want to get engaged or they want to get married. That type of thing. And again, eclipses do this, you guys. <laughs> so uh, just just, just keep that in mind, okay? All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Aquarians. Aquarian, a lot of transformation for you guys. I hope you guys are staying safe. All right, here we go. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. All right, Aquarius, when we're talking about love and romance, I feel for a lot of you guys, okay, so I'm seeing two energies here. Um, I feel like you may be dealing with two people. Or you may be dealing with a new person, but dealing with someone that is connected or rooted to your past. Uh, so what do I mean by this? It could be a friend that's never crossed the line, someone that, you know, it's just been friendship. But it's someone that on a subconscious level, you feel some type of connection with. Um, and for others of you, you may be feeling like you may be feeling like you're having options right now. 
but you're a bit guarded maybe because you're not you haven't experienced a lot of momentum when it comes to love and romance so for some of you guys it's almost like people are being drawn to you again you have pluto in your sign and it's gonna be there for quite a bit so it's transforming a lot of not only your life but your energy as well um, and keeping in mind, Pluto always brings power. That's something that people often forget. It's not just death and transformation, um, but it's power. So again, I see you guys really leveling up. And in this process, I see people being extremely drawn to you. Now, the people, the person that you may be dealing with right now, how they're seeing you is they're seeing you as a stable person. They're seeing you as the person that they want to put effort and energy towards. Now, when it comes to their feelings for you, I feel like they're guarded right now. Um, so it's almost like they're realizing, yes, Aquarius is definitely worth it. But am I ready? Is That's the question. Am I ready? Am I ready for a higher elevation of commitment? Am I ready for, you know, um, to settle down more than anything? So I feel like you may be dealing with a person that is kind of wishy-washy right now. But I do see you dealing with another person that's coming in. This could be right now or this could be something that starts to unfold for you guys all the way to me. Where there's a new person that's coming in that is much more elevated and much more suited for you, Aquarius. And for a lot of you guys, I'm going to be honest, because I have here the Empress, I feel like it's a person that is connected or rooted in your past. It's like I said, it could be a friend. It could be someone that... Maybe they've always been a friend and out of nowhere you start to feel or see them in a very different way. Um, and again, Aquarius, for you guys, whether you're aware of it or not, on a subconscious level, any type of relationship that begins off of friendship, 90% um, of the time ends up into a long term. Why? Because you need to be friends before you actually get with someone. Because only then do you feel like you're being fully accepted for who you are and not being judged or critiqued. So again, I feel like the person that you're dealing with that is wishy-washy, I feel like you know and you're feeling that there is change in the air for you. Um, so my advice is if they're wishy-washy, don't chase, don't go after them. Let them fall off by themselves. Pay attention to people's actions right now. Let them fall by themselves and you will be guided or you will feel this connection to someone that is already in your surrounding okay someone that is already around you or that you're already communicating with but you maybe don't see them the same way or not the same way you probably just don't see them in a different light but that's going to be changing okay so it's just options aquarius <laughs> All right, now when we're talking about old love here, we have the King of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and this, ooh, Aquarius. All right, so when we're talking about old flame, I see you revisiting the past, or for some of you guys, you're dealing with an ex-partner, a person from your past, and there is a very high probability of a reconnection, of a rekindling of this connection, especially if you felt like, you never fully moved on from this person. Um, I feel like the stars are aligning, literally. Uh, and it's bringing about a second opportunity. So for, so for some of you guys, if there was a relationship that ended and it almost felt like you're still not fully over them or like you're still, you still feel them in your energy, the reason for it is because they're still feeling you in their energy. They haven't moved on and they're coming back around they're wanting to revisit the past. They're wanting to reconnect with you and see how we can move forward. How can we make it better? How can we fix it uh, type of energy? And unlike other ones, I feel like in this reading, Aquarius, they're being genuine and authentic in their emotions or feelings towards you. So the ball is in your court, my loves. All right, moving on here. Finally, right? Last but not least, let's see what's going on with Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Pisces in new love and old flame. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go, Pisces. Let's see what's going on with you guys. 
All right, we have the Queen of Wands, we have the Six of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. Wow, beautiful energy here, Pisces. Now, for those of you guys that are dealing with someone new, in regards to how they see you, they are definitely like very physically attracted to you, or you could be extremely physically attracted to them. Um, how they feel about you, I feel like there's a connection to the past for some of you. So this could... Excuse me. This could be a person that maybe you dealt with in the past. Maybe you guys never really visited the opportunity of like solidifying something. Uh, it could be that it could be that you were interested in someone, but it just never. It's like the life took you guys on different paths because they're talking to me about history and the past. So but I don't feel like it ever got to like a serious relationship type of energy. So it could be someone that you're interested in from the past that all of a sudden starts to come back around or that starts contacting you, communicating with you, etc. And it's almost like you're willing this time around to fully invest or to fully like experience the connection in the moment. Whereas maybe in the past you were dealing with someone else. Maybe that's why it, it didn't never actually went anywhere. It's given me very... It's new love, but I feel like it's it's someone that you've dealt with in the past, but it never got to, like, you guys never really, maybe you guys were, like, in different state of minds. Maybe you were dealing with someone else. Maybe it was, like, a fuck buddy type of situation, type of energy, whereas you guys are realizing that there's a deeper connection, and this time around they're going to fully embrace the feelings and go with it and see where it goes. And I feel like that's the same shift of energy that's happening with you, um, Pisces. Now, for others of you, what I'm hearing is there is a connection that is beginning to build off of friendship. So if you feel like the relationship or the connection is not going like as quickly as you would want or... Um, Maybe they're not taking it to the physical aspect and you're like, you know, do they really like me? Do they not? This is a person that values friendship or someone that is wanting to build a relationship off of friendship first. So what they're telling you is, you know, go with the flow and be practical about it. Like let things flourish the way they must. OK, um, don't try to force anything. And I feel like if you go with the flow you're going to be very surprised because you're going to realize that both of you guys have a lot of things in common. Not only that, but that both of you guys are ready for a higher elevation of commitment or a deeper connection. OK. All right, my loves. Now, let's see in regards to your old flame here. We have the king of swords, the strength card and the hanged man. OK, so, uh, Pisces, what I'm seeing here is with the King of Swords, the Strength, and the Hanged Man, which, by the way, you have two major arcanas here. Um, I feel like this person is a person that is very much an intellectual. It's not someone that is ruled uh, by emotions. But I feel like in the past, for, this is going to be for a few of you guys. In the past two weeks, they've either reached out or tried to communicate with you. And the reason for this has a lot to do uh, with, you know, the, the solar eclipse that we just experienced. With the strength card here in regards to why they feel this way about you, the strength card, it's like, it's giving me very much energy of don't go back to a person from your past. If they used your compassion, if they used your dedication to them, if they use that um, against you, okay? Um, because I feel like this person may be going through something in their life right now where they're kind of being forced to realize that the only gentleness, the only selfless love they've ever had was with you, Pisces. And that could be a beautiful thing if the person is willing to embrace. But with the hanged man, I feel like they're not willing to embrace them. It's just that temporarily they need that type of soothing. And I don't want you to be their nurse. I don't want you to be their mom. I don't want you to be their dad. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, so what they're telling you here is, yes, you are amazing. Yes, you are compassionate. Yes, you are giving. 
but do not water what's left you empty. Okay. Um, I don't want you guys to get in your emotions hearing back from this person because I feel like if you do hear from them, it's something that is going to be temporary and it's only to feed their ego or it's only to feed their needs. And then you're going to end up feeling worse because it's taking you a while to get over them. And here you are embracing them, thinking that it's going to pick up and then it doesn't. Do you get me? So what they're telling you here is learn to value what other people take you for granted in is in your compassion and your dedication and love, right? What they're telling you is don't see that as a, don't see that as an inconvenience. See it as a blessing because that is actually worthy, okay? But only give that to those that are worthy of it, okay? So I don't want you to go back and entertain this energy, and for some of you guys, maybe you're still holding on to an ex, but what they're telling you here, it's almost think of it as it's the universe testing you. Did you learn your lesson? Are you willing to allow people to continue taking advantage of you? Or are you going to stand up for yourself and be like, fuck this, I deserve better. And you didn't appreciate that, that I'm no longer in your life. And now you are appreciated, appreciated but from a distance because you're not worthy of what I gave you for free then. Do you get me? So again, it's very important to stand your ground right now, Pisces, especially those of you guys that even if it's not an ex, it's someone that you're dealing with right now, but this is correlating with you and you're like, I've had it, I'm done, I'm not going to deal with this no more. You're being tested. And the longer you take walking away from this, it's like the more difficult it's going to be to walk away, Pisces. So if you feel like this person is taking advantage of you in any sense, it could be material and emotional or the physical, it doesn't matter. What they're telling you, stand your ground and know your worthiness, okay? And if it's just not working out, don't allow them to think that they can continue taking advantage of that because that what they take for granted, obviously, is worthy of something. Why? Because they know that they can find that somewhere else. And it's time you start putting value in yourself, Pisces, okay? All right, my loves. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see each other soon. Until then, bye.